Hi, welcome back to the French course. In this chapter, we're going to look at the quick starter guide. Uh, I will try to show the whole repertoire uh, in a very compact way to take you through the uh, directions and uh, the main lines and the sidelines, show you um, and give you a little bit of an idea of uh, what I recommend where and what type of positions we are going to be dealing with. But needless to say, uh, I cannot cover everything in just one video. So uh, for more details, definitely definitely study um, the rest of the chapters. But uh, without uh, wasting any further time, let's attempt to cover everything in just one video. So it's E4, E6, that's the French. Here um, there, there is a chapter on the uh, second move alternatives. I, uh, I look at two main ones. I find B3 uh, a very interesting sideline that uh, I've discovered when looking for a surprise weapon for white, very interesting. Here I recommend D5, Bishop B2, and now Knight C6. This is a very, very uh, strong idea. The main point is that we um, uh, play against white setup, and white setup here is to bring the queen out to e2, knight to c3, and castle long. And knight c6 uh, stops that effectively. If knight c3, uh, the idea is d4, and if queen e2, the idea is that now we take on e4, and after knight c3, we have this uh, very strong move, knight d4, forcing white to recapture on e4 with the queen, not with the knight, and then win an extra tempo with knight f6. And having won uh, a couple of extra tempi, this position is uh, very good for black. Now, this is my uh, solution for second move b3. Obviously, there's more details, um, but that's uh, basic. And after d3, uh, move 2, there's the so-called King's Indian attack. White is intending to develop the bishop to g2 and uh, start an uh, offensive, some sort of a reverse King's Indian. Uh, here, I recommend a very interesting um, rare setup of the d5, knight d2, knight f6, knight g3, the move knight c6. Uh, this is not the usual way. Usually, uh, c7 pawns, uh, c7 pawn goes towards c5 first, and only then knight c6. But this is uh, very interesting. The idea is uh, to push the pawn to e5, and if white plays in the same uh, style of the king's Indian attack with g3, which is already, by the way, quite inaccurate, I propose to take on e4, take on e4, play bishop c5, and after bishop g2, uh, e5, castle, castle. We get this. Uh, um, interesting position, some sort of a uh, reverse uh, pirk uh, slash reverse philidor, a very um, good position for black. We had lost a tempo on the e6, e5, but it's not too relevant. The bishop on g2 is not well placed. It's staring at the e4 pawn. Black has easy development. The idea is very often a5, b6, followed by bishop a6. And uh, what's most important is that uh, our king is very safe, uh, which is not the case in many of the King's Indian attack uh, positions, but here it is, and I believe this is an excellent way of uh, handling the King's Indian attack. And um, uh, with that, let's move on to the second move, d4, and that's the main line, that's what uh, most of the players play now to d5. I'll look at four main moves. Um, let's look at the one by one. Now against knight d2, I recommend the line with c5, that's the main line, I think it's the best line. And uh, myself, I played the move knight f6, but it's not, uh, as a kid actually, so it's not very good. I had to find, out, find it out the hard way. After c5, um, there are a few options, ed, uh, queen d5, dc5 uh, is one of them. It uh, essentially uh, leads to a similar pawn structure after knight f6, knight f3, queen dc5. Uh, knight gf3 is the main move, after c takes d4, uh, white uh, has two variations, e takes d5 is the old main line. Now we take uh, queen d5, bishop c4, queen d6, main line goes short castle, knight f6, knight b3, knight c6, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, and um, uh, there's an end game which is very fine for black, uh, but knight takes d4 is the main move. And here I recommend uh, a relatively rare uh, setup with bishop e7 and short castle. And uh, the main line goes c3, castle, queen f3, uh, queen c7, hitting the c4 bishop. And uh, one of the important ideas that I show in this, uh, in this chapter is that after bishop b3,